Hey all you Hulkamaniacs out there, this episode we got something special for all you fans of the Sweden outfit Little Dragon. We caught up with them. You're welcome. Twice I turn my back on you. Hi, I'm Yukimi and I sing in Little Dragon. Hi, I'm Håkan, I play keys. I am Erik, I play drums. Hi, I'm Fredrik, I play bass. Let's imagine that you are my grandmother. <laughs> you see, grandma, <laughs> we play in a band, not an orchestra. And we have these modern instruments called synthesizer. <laughs> yeah, my, my grandmother thinks it's kind of dance music as well, kind of. Um, she came to a concert. Yeah, she's 85 years old. And um, yeah. She looked, she said she enjoyed it, but I don't know. I don't think it was really her cup of tea. <laughs> well, uh, I think we're really dependent on uh, our machines in the studio to kind of create the sound that we have. And if we didn't have our synthesizers, and um, we wouldn't be the band that we are. So, And I think the dreamy part is something that we um, um, had in the first album and that we sort of identified ourselves with. So. I think we like the idea of listening to music and headphones or whatever and sort of it taking you somewhere to another place or it being dreamy somehow. So it became machine dreams felt, felt fitted for the music we were making. Some of our machines seem to have their own life. They're really, they're really not that controllable because they, they kind of tend to uh, have a different Opinion. opinion sometimes and also the aspect that we ourselves are somehow machines I, I mean I guess uh, like uh, the human brain is kind of compared to to a complex computer almost like in neuroscience it's yeah anyway well, we are probably really bad computers <laughs> I guess I was walking home looking at the trees Got the feeling that they were looking back at me Thoughts that occurred to me um, It's been kind of both, like um, for uh, the TWICE video um, it was uh, us who contacted Johannes Sneholm who, who directed that video and come, came up with the idea and everything and we were part of, of the sort of uh, creating of the video we were moving the puppets and, and um, you know, blowing the wind or, you know, pulling the rain or whatever. And um, so, yeah, we contacted him. And then uh, for After the Rain, it was a uh, French, uh, Fran Francois Vogel, who contacted us. And um, my dad did an animated video for our new album. Um, he basically chose a song that he liked and sort of got free hands to do what he wanted. And, um, yeah, Fortune is a... Hideyuki Katsumata again. Um, yeah, we contacted him because we, we found his uh, pictures on MySpace and we're really like sort of awestruck by his, you know, uh, his mind and his pictures. I think that sometimes when I sell the merch and we have all the albums, I'm really like sort of content with, with the covers and, you know, I sort of, I mean, it's, I think it's been very important for us to feel the connection with the album cover or, you know, and, and the music and I don't know, it's just a great way to combine art and music, you know, you can sort of, you know, we can choose something that we really like, hopefully, you know, I mean, well, yes, and then combine it with our sounds and it's, it's a lot of fun because you sort of, you can expose someone who maybe isn't, you know, that known or who's super talented, like for yeah. Machine Dreams, everyone's been commenting Hideyuki's, um, picture for the cover so yeah it's a lot of fun
Oh, Hulk smash. Anyway, this episode we also got down at the Merge Art Show at the Aiden Gallery, talked to some artists from abroad as well as some locals. My name is Pina and uh, I'm from Italy. I'm here in Vancouver for about the next five months and I'm here basically to uh, paint, graffiti, uh, making art shows. 3D graffiti is not something really new where and in Europe, it uh, gets started like about in, uh, in the 90s, and uh, I'm kind of new school in this, but uh, I'm doing this since the last 10 years. And um, I studied sculpture in order to paint it by the way. And uh, yeah, um, this show I'm showing uh, all my artworks like murals and paintings on canvas with acrylic and airbrush. And uh, as well as capture too. I've never died of going. Who am I? Not the chariot of five forces. Who am I? Not the marriages or divorces. Who am I? Not the ashes or the corpses. Who am I? Not the My name is Indigo. I'm a stencil artist from Vancouver, British Columbia. These pieces have literally been my life for the past two weeks. I haven't been doing anything else. Um, I finished painting the larger piece at 2 p.m. yesterday and brought it to the gallery and hung it. Um, I've just been living in my studio, cutting stencils for hours and hours and hours, and um, before that, tracing for hours and hours and hours, and then test sprays and painting. Oh, it totally does. It totally does. Like, after I've been cutting holes out of plastic for 10 hours straight, with very few breaks, I, and it's like five in the morning, and I haven't slept in a week and a half, Barely. <laughs> I go a little nuts. Matt Andres, um, been doing art for a few years. I'm really drawn to ink and like watered down acrylics or watered down ink and put it on the cam put it on the canvas or the paper and then it kind of decides some things for me and then working with that. Um, I definitely just want to put, when you look at one of my pieces, I just wanted to say like, you can tell this person was in it, you can tell this person was in that creative zone. And that's kind of just what I want people to get from is being creative and free and and uh, that's pretty much it. My name is William Chad Wilsey. The work's all hyper-realistic uh, artwork. I've been working on kind of commercial-based artwork. Set it up being commercial-based artwork, but then turned into my own idea of hyper-realism, which uh, kind of the idea of getting the viewer to be involved into the artwork and have that that alienation. Stories are behind Cartel and McMurray were the idea of uh, iconic heroes within certain cultures, Cartel being as as and the uh, Mexican, um, the kind of idea of a heroism. Uh, McMurray as in the wild, wild west, such as the uh, western states. You could be my sweet, sweet energy. You could be my baby. You could be all I And that's that, you done been grounded, boy. Yeah. And when you came to me, right in your own grace, holding my hand with a smile on.